Are we ready to go? I'm Richie Wilson from Fire Steakhouse and Bar. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Bernays sauce. I've got this wonderful dry aged shoreline steak just resting here, waiting for that perfect Bernays sauce to go with it. So let's get started. I'm going to heat up a pot, ready to make our reduction. And that's the first and most important step to Bernays sauce that tarragon reduction. Every Bernays or Hollandaise sauce starts with vinegar, but this one starts with tarragon, and that's the difference between Bernays and a Hollandaise sauce, tarragon. So big lumps of tarragon go in, into the pot then with the shallots, and the tarragon is a little white wine vinegar. The reduction is gonna add a huge amount of flavor to our sauce, but it's also essential to make that emulsion with the eggs that's going to hold on to the clarified butter when we add it in. Into that reduction, I'm gonna add just a little pinch of cracked black pepper as well. For this sauce, all we need is the egg yolks. Don't do away with your whites. You can always use them for something later. Nice, big, fresh egg yolks. It's a great idea not to keep your eggs in the fridge. Room temperature eggs for this sauce will make your job a lot easier. Here I've got just some very simple melted unsalted butter. We can see here that the milk solids have dropped to the bottom and a few floating across the top. What we're gonna try and do is to keep those milk solids out of our sauce. That's what's gonna stop it from splitting. I'm just gonna skim that top layer of milk solids off that butter. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we try and get most of it out and that's ready to go for our sauce. Now, our reduction is ready, and to cool it down as quick as possible, I'm gonna put it into a nice wide based bowl, just so that cools really quickly for us. And that already smells like Bernays sauce. That tarragon, just wonderful smells off it. So I've got some water here just simmering, and we'll put our Pyrex bowl, or a round bottom stainless steel bowl, over this water, but being very careful not to let this touch the water, because that heat off the water is just gonna to be too much and will cook out the eggs too fast. I'm gonna turn the heat right down on that. And to it, I'm gonna add a little squeeze of lemon. Just make sure we don't get any pips in now, because we're not gonna pass this sauce. This is a sauce with real class. It's ambitious, and things can go wrong quite easily on it, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. Everything should be tried. So what we're looking for is a figure of eight fashion as we're whisking these eggs. That's what's gonna aerate them as much as possible. And we've gotta keep moving because the heat is constantly at the bottom of those eggs. It's constantly cooking them. And if it cooks out too much, it won't be able to take the butter. Now we can add our cool down reduction. We're just gonna take a little bit of effort now to keep this moving. Don't give up on it, don't stop whisking. As soon as you stop, the eggs will start cooking. If we think the bowl is getting too hot at any stage, or if we're getting anything cooked across the edge, let's take the bowl off, let the eggs cool a little bit, let the bowl cool a little bit, keep on whisking, and then place back on top of the heat, ready to go again. Looking good. Figure of eight just holds across the top of those eggs. Now, very slowly and very patiently add the butter. We're watching that the butter doesn't build across the edge of the eggs, that every bit of butter has been taken in by the eggs. You're here now. I'm gonna take this off the heat. We'll come back to our board and then we'll just add it. the rest of the butter. So what we're watching for is just a little bit of an edge of butter that's just lingering on the top of the eggs, almost like the eggs don't want any more. It's almost like the sauce is telling us, this is enough. And that's it now. Perfect. Now, the last little finish that we need is a little bit more finely chopped tarragon. Just to really let us know now, this is Bernays sauce. It's got that green fleck going through it and we know it's there. So let's just check the seasoning. It's 
it's good, it's nice and sharp, but it needs a little salt. And that sauce so is just thick enough now to sit on top of that warm steak and will slowly melt across the top of it. Perfect for any sauce.